Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a unique tool that I think you'll find interesting. Stay tuned. So we've reached that time of year when those of us who do a lot of stuff outdoors, we start thinking about uh, wild edibles, uh, medicinals, and how to harvest those. And so this tool that I want to show you today, I found it at a uh, yard sale, flea market, something like that. So I'm always looking for things that I can use, especially if they're convenient and uh, handy and easy to carry. And so I found this and I thought it would be something you might like. Uh, I will do my best to put a description, uh, uh, put a link rather, in the description box below. And I found a couple on Amazon. They're not exactly like the one I have, but fairly similar. Of course, keep in mind that it is a light duty tool. Uh, it's not something that you would take out for super heavy use, but for the forager, for the bushcrafter, uh, the person practicing their survival skills, I think that uh, it's just about perfect. So what we have here is, in a small leather pouch, a multi-tool. And this one is all metal. It doesn't have any plastic on the handles. Uh, some of them do come with that. But what I like so much about this when you open it up, it has a lock right here, you open, and it's a set of, of bypass pruners. And of course, for you know, trimming, cutting, uh, you know, any kind of, of uh, work, this, this is actually used as a gardener's multi-tool, is how they're, how they're listed. But uh, it's very handy. I mean, they, they cut quite well. So... For instance, this is an old blackberry uh, vine, and uh, as you see, it just cuts right off. Of course, blackberry vines are usually pretty tough, and uh, you can see how that could be really, really convenient. Uh, you can use it for shelter building even, if you're trying to pull boughs off trees, you know, something like this, and you're wanting to build a, a bough bed. But uh, a lot of them come with the spring in here. Uh, this one did not have a spring, but it doesn't really affect it. I just put my finger in the middle and use it to uh, open and close it. It's quite sharp and it's pretty well made. Then inside it has four other tools. So this is a five tool. There are some that have nine and different ones that go along with that, of course. Uh, has a really nice saw, very sharp. And uh, I think that's a, that's a super great feature for this kind of tool. Of course, if you want to use it, you would want to fold this up. And although these are not locking, uh, that will keep it from folding up on your fingers. So that's a pretty decent saw. And it's like I said, it's we've got a really good edge on it. The next tool that we want to look at is this here. This is a, a very interesting looking tool. It has uh, double edged here on the front. It's like a little bit of a spade bit and it's serrated right in here. It's got this serrated section. And uh, this, is, uh, this is like a pruning knife. You can use this, of course, for, for cutting, trimming, pruning. Uh, you could also use this as a bark lifter if you are working on projects where you need to remove the bark from something. Uh, that would be really great for that. On the other side, uh, it has a large, very sharp knife blade. And, of course, that's good for all kinds of stuff in a survival situation as well as for, you know, foraging and uh, cutting and trimming roots and all that sort of thing. And the last tool, which is really neat, is this soil knife here. Uh, this is actually uh, a weeding tool, root remover, whatever you want to call it. But you can obviously see the advantage of this and you can fold it up if you wish like that so you get a lot more length. And this is useful for getting down in the soil and getting under for cutting roots or removing roots. Uh, for instance, if you're digging dandelions, or anything like that where you need to get down deep and uh, you want to you want to cut that open and this is sharp on the inside so this is a this is a really unique uh, feature that I like about these multi tools and here it is all opened up with uh, all five of its uh, features revealed to you in all their glory <laughs> uh, this is a really great addition to your harvesting foraging kit and it's very small, doesn't weigh a whole lot. This one is completely stainless steel, so rather resistant to rust and moisture. 
and uh, when you fold it up, yeah, it's a very small and convenient package. Reminds you a lot of the early Leathermans. But I think this is something that uh, you might want to consider for your kit coming into this spring time of the year. And back into the leather pouch. You can easily fasten it onto our belt. So again, we just want to put it on like so. And just like a multi-tool or anything else we might wish to carry, we now have a very convenient and handy foraging tool with us at all times. All right, for instance, here we have some onions coming up and uh, I want to get down there in the soil and see if I can't dig out that bulb so I can go with our uh, spade bit knife here and uh, we can get down in here and we can dig up under the soil just like this and uh, that will help us get this bulb out without damaging it or destroying it and uh, all right and uh, here we can see we have a, a really nice Very nice, very fresh, and uh, of course one of the things you want to do is you always want to make sure and smell it, and uh, oh yeah, smells just like an onion. And so we can take, uh, take the serrated part of our blade, and we can just use that, we can trim this off very easily, and we take this down and rinse it off, and then we can have some fresh onion to go with a, a stew or a soup or whatever it is that we, we might wish to have, or we just eat it raw. So this is video number 98 on my channel and I'm pretty excited. Uh, I've got a really neat video planned for number 100. I also have a new intro with some great graphics uh, that a friend of mine did for me. So I'm really looking forward to putting that on. And so I encourage you to make sure and stay tuned so you can pick up on what we're doing. And uh, we'll be getting back with that here after a bit. And like I said, just a couple of weeks away and I'm going to be posting uh, something that I think you'll find interesting. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. Please give us a like, make sure and share it, and uh, most of all push that subscribe button. Also check out the links in the description box below and don't forget to press the bell button to stay notified of all of our upcoming videos and we'll talk to you next time. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. <laughs> Let's do that again. <clears throat> this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. Please like, again. <clears throat>